to make a sliding uh, box so like a, a case that you slide like that so it's uh, very handy to uh, buy, keep all your resources in a box and it just doesn't go everywhere in your big board game box you can use it for many different things so here for example I have like dividers and I just keep them like that but you could very well have like you know uh, drawers like a chest of drawer and and put the thing like vertically and it would just like block block it from uh, like opening like all the drawers to slide off the box so that's very handy or just like yeah to to hold resources just like that so it's very simple we're gonna just uh, see that today uh, to uh, basically make a sliding uh, box we'll need some measurements so let's say our box look looks like that we'll need first um hang on, up we'll need first that measurement which we'll call a and this measurement which we'll call b okay so this one and this one because what we'll do with our strip of paper is basically We'll have A, B, A, B, and A again. It's like I'm doing that basically. Oh, or whatever. Let's say A is that. Okay. A, B, A. B and A again. Um, so if it was a um, normal baggie like that, the, the height and the width of your uh, baggie anyway is the same because it's a square. So basically, you do just five times uh, five times that measurement because it's the same. But in which case, I mean, in this case in particular, we're gonna do three. A plus 2B. Um, for this box, what is A and what is B? Um, A is 53 millimeters. And B is twenty six. All right, so our strip of paper will be a uh, twenty one centimeters long. Um, so either, as I said, you're just gonna write and mark the measurements uh, of A, B, A, B, A, B, uh, A on your strip of paper, like one by one all along it, or you can just uh, do like, place your, your box, I'm oh, sorry, my A is the, the horizontal one, you place your box and then hold it down and mark the fold and do it all around it so I'll, sh I'll i'll do it like that to show you because it's pretty simple to just mark the mark, uh, to write down the markings anyway um uh, however for uh the width of your strip of paper so first of first what you'll need to know is uh how wide or how thick do you want these edges to be you just decide so well, I'll do something a bit uh, random but I'm gonna say like say that I like that thickness 
Well, obviously, uh, you're meant to be accurate. Um, mine is just like an example, so um, it, it's not gonna be very pretty or anything. It's just to show you in the video. Okay, so let's say I have one, one side already done. I'm gonna just put my box there and I'm gonna mark the, the width of my box which is here and then I just fold it there and if you have like something bigger you just like trim it to whatever uh, thickness you wish uh, to have and that that's it for the width of your strip of paper. Oh yeah, because mine is an example, it doesn't look very parallel. It doesn't matter. Uh, so, as I said, either you're gonna write down like A, B, A, B, A, and then cut whatever excess you have, or you can do that. So you place your box right here, so you match the corners and all, and you mark the fold like that. You make it sharper. Then you repeat when you're up you do it like that because it's an example that I'm using very thin paper so it's not gonna be great I think but you know whatever up starting to look like something um, you do it again fold and once again yeah Normally, you cut here, this uh, at this um, fold, which should be for me uh, 21 centimeters roughly. It's a bit of an excess, but that's my preferred way of doing it because you never can predict accurately um, how your your paper is gonna like fold around your box so I prefer to like um, just wrap it around and and go with that but the measurement still helps to uh, know roughly the length of your paper a few strip of paper but see I am definitely a bit longer than 21. I'm actually closer to 22. Also, I'm not really accurate. I'm behind the camera, so I, like, I'm, right now my, my arms are <laughs> there, and it's uh, really hard to do uh, all the folding. But anyway, uh, when you're up to there, you're nearly done. Uh, what you're gonna do is just uh, try to take one side and slide it in there. So it's exactly the same principle as uh, the modular box, if you remember. You slide in the strips, I mean the little tabs on the side, and you push. And normally it should be good, like that. So sometimes it does that. I, I noticed that it happens more as well with 
thicker paper because it's struggling to slide in there so I'll show you uh, how I usually uh, avoid this but meanwhile I'm just going to show you that the box fits all right that's our box so yeah um, it just works it's fine uh, to avoid uh, uh, this thing that happens most of the time with thick paper, or oh, here it's thin, but whatever. What I do, I don't think it's recommended, but that's how I do it, and I think it works for me. I actually kind of trim like that. I think I trim too much because that's thin paper, but whatever. Uh, but with thick paper, I trim a lot. And see, it doesn't push uh, too much on, on the edges, so it's actually flattened. Or well, if you wish, you could also glue uh, these if you don't like to see them. Personally, I don't really care because I now each time I do it, I just do the, uh, the excess one uh, hidden, like at the bottom of the box, so you don't see it anymore. This was one of my first ones, so... You, yeah, you can see it's right in the middle. I'm not a fan, but uh, yeah. So now I just hide them at the bottom of the box and you don't see it. So that's how you do a, a sliding uh, box, like a little sliding case. And uh, with the same technique, we're going to see how to make uh, tiny little dividers of the shape you want. Um, so we're just going to take uh, that box as an example as well, I guess. Um, Alright, so to try to make a divider, first I'm, I'll just start with a diamond, because I think that would be potentially the most useful one. So you start the same way, uh, you just check how uh, high your box is. My box is that high, so I'm going to fold here. Sorry, as I said, I'm behind the camera. It's really hard to fold. <laughs> oh, I just roughly cut the edge, I mean the excess. Let's say that's good and we're happy with that. So that will be placed in there, so it needs to be the, the, the height of the box, okay? Uh, let's say we do a diamond, so... Um, what's half a diagonal? 38? Okay, I'm going to do a 38 millimeters times 5. times five and I cut at four. Oh my god. That was the proof I can't see anything from so far away behind the camera but whatever. I just like uh, taped it. It doesn't matter it's an example so I don't care that much. All right uh, so I'm gonna fold on these obviously. And just like the sliding lid, we're going to put one, one edge into the other one. Like, for example, uh, this end into that one. Okay. There you go. 
that's what it looks like and you can place it in your box oh mine is a bit thick because well the tape it doesn't matter it fits uh, in your box you can place it there and it does not move because it's the right size and if you have a lid then basically it will just hold uh, your resources like separated like you, you know you move the things and whatever uh, yeah well this one is not great but whatever uh, you can do any shape you want all you need to do is to always do an extra uh, end bit uh, like if you do a triangle you do four four uh, sides instead of uh, three well, we can make a triangle for ex an example a well, triangle will look like that here so I need the side of a triangle as an example okay so as an example I just made another strip uh, we said a side will be 53 so let's just mark that Again, 53. And 53 a fourth time. And then you cut it. Then you fold. I'm unbelievable. I cut again on the third. I can't see the markings. It's unreal. <laughs> well, I fixed it again. That's ridiculous. I really can't see the marking. It's crazy. I'm too far away. Oh. Alright, I fold it again, just like before. <laughs> And you repeat the process, just like slide one end into the other end. Oop. Obviously you can trim on the side if you think it looks a bit dodgy like that. And you can put it in your box. Sorry, my cat is eating. <laughs> and that's the divider. Yeah, it's it's lifting a little bit up, but yeah, you can you can fix that. It's easy. You can you, you see you can do any any shape you wish, uh, and that should be uh, protected when there's a lid on it. And yeah, that divides your things in more or original shapes than just a normal cutter divider, which is just like an accordion basically. So yeah, that's that's it. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye.